When you've had a serious illness or a stroke, uh, sometimes it can be difficult to say, you know, I'm happy. Um, I'm happy with my situation. I'm, I'm happy with uh, my family and everything that's going on in my life uh, when you've had a serious illness or a stroke or a brain injury. And so one of the questions is why are some people happier than others? Because it can certainly be uh, difficult uh, after an illness or if you're living with a a disability. You didn't ask to have that stroke. You didn't say, please send me a stroke. But now you have to deal with it. And I frequently go back to uh, something that happened years ago in my office. And I had a family, and they were blue collar worker. And their vacation once a year was to go to the coast, Texas coast, and to go to the beach. And on Easter, they it's a Hispanic tradition in San Antonio to go to Brackenridge Park, to go to the park and camp out and do a Sunday barbecue. And these people were really happy. And I looked at some of my physician friends who drove fancy cars and lived in fancy houses and were nowhere near as happy as these people. And then you realize that the association between happiness is gratitude. Are you grateful? for what you have, and are you grateful for your situation? Um, there is a great quote by the philosopher Nietzsche who says that um, he who has a why in his life can tolerate any how. So that if you have a purpose and you're grateful for what you have, um, you will be happy. So that the patient that has the stroke and has the brain injury um, gets to a point where they says, well, you know, I, I have this stroke, but I'm happy with my situation in life, um, and I'm grateful for what I have will be a happy person.